Okay, so let's solve this problem. So find the standard equation of an ellipse which satisfies the given condition. So first, we need to graph this given. So from the given coordinate of the focus, so this one is x and y. So x is negative 6, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, then negative 6. Then y is negative 2, so negative 1, then negative 2. So this is now the coordinate of the focus. Then for the given vertex, so x is negative 1 and y is positive 5. So x is negative 1, then y is positive 5, so positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this one now is the coordinate of the co-vertex. Since the major axis of this ellipse is in horizontal position, so therefore this ellipse is also a horizontal ellipse. So formula for the horizontal ellipse, we have x minus h then to the power 2 over since horizontal, so therefore a squared is the denominator of x squared then plus y minus k to the power 2 then over b squared equals 1. So this is the formula we're going to use to find the standard equation of this ellipse. So first find the coordinate of the center. So from the given focus, since this one is a horizontal ellipse or the major axis of this ellipse is in horizontal position, so therefore, focus is also in horizontal position. So this is now the graph of the focus. Then we're going to connect this co-vertex to find the center of this ellipse. So this point is the center of this ellipse. Since we have now the point of the center, so therefore the coordinate of the center of this ellipse, so for x, that's negative 1, and y, that's negative 2. So center is at point negative 1 and negative 2. Then from this coordinate of the center, so h is equal to negative 1 and k is negative 2. Then to solve for a, since A does from center to vertex and in the given there is no vertex so therefore we cannot solve this A using the given so let's solve first for B so B that center to co vertex so from the center to this co vertex we're going to use counting method. So in counting, you start counting on the next point. So from this point, so start counting on the next point. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So therefore, B is equal to 7. Then to solve for C, that's center to focus. So therefore, in the graph, so from the center to focus, so again, we're going to use counting method. So in counting, you start counting on the next point. So from this point, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So therefore, C is equal to 5. Then to solve for a, so using this formula that c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. So since c is equal to 5, so we have 5 squared equals a squared minus b is 7, so that's 7 squared. Then simplify, so 5 squared is 25, then equals a squared, then minus this 7 squared, that's 49. So to solve for A, so transpose this negative 49 to the left side. So this becomes 25 plus 49 equals A squared. 
then simplify so this 25 plus 49 that's 74 then equals a squared then take the square root so therefore a is equal to square root of 74 then since we have now the four values the h the k the a and the b so we can solve now the standard equation of this ellipse using this formula so we have x then minus h since h is negative 1 so that becomes positive 1 then to the power 2 then over a squared since a is square root of 74 so we have square root of 74 then to the power 2 then plus this y then minus k since k is negative 2 so that becomes positive 2 then to the power 2 then over b squared since b is equal to 7 so we have 7 then to the power 2 then equals 1 then simplify so we have now x plus 1 to the power 2 then over so cancel this radical that becomes 74 then plus y plus 2 to the power 2 then over this 7 squared that's 49 then equals 1 so this is now the standard equation of this ellipse